Hello everyone, it's time for me to review The New Mutants, the newest X-Men movie about a group of teens that are in a hospital and they are put there because of their powers and crimes that they have done. But nightmares start to happen inside this hospital and now they've got to confront them. The New Mutants was meant to come out in April 2018. It was made three years ago and it kept getting delayed, kept saying that it was going to have a reshoot. Those reshoots never happened. Um, when Disney finally took over Fox and took the property of, of um, X-Men from them, they decided not to do the reshoots and Josh Boone just released his film. Josh Boone went from directing The Fault in Our Stars straight to this and... Seeing him trying to do something like horror doesn't completely work. The New Mutants, in my opinion, wasn't worth that wait. I was excited for it. I thought, okay, they're going to get the story right. Oh shit, Demon Bear is in the trailer. But they get so much wrong. All of these characters are done badly, in my opinion. There are two characters in this as well that have been whitewashed, which is quite weird because the original characters are black, so it was quite weird to see what they've done with this film, Josh Boone saying he doesn't care about racism, and then having I Ileana Rasputin be, I think I've said her name completely wrong, but have her be <laughs> incredibly racist in this film to a woman that is a Native American. And the racism in this feels a bit overboard in the end. I understand you're not meant to like this character and you're meant to hate them, but it just feels too much in the end because it feels odd to have whitewashed <laughs> two characters from the comics and then have this be very racist with one character, which the character does develop in the end um, and you sort of see a bit more to them and you don't hate them as much further in, but from that first point, you're like, you're a piece of shit. The New Mutants is also, it's a 15, but it's one of those films that just feels so tame with its horror that it could have easily been a 12A if it didn't include one scene. Um, we do get one thing that I'm happy about, we do get a lesbian storyline in this, which isn't isn't just done for queer baiting. It does actually seriously work in in the story, um, which is good. But there is a lot of bad things in this film. Like I said with Demon Bear, in the comics, Demon Bear is a very big threatening character. They have about four different superpowers. They mess with Danny Moonstar when she is in the hospital. They get into her dreams and say they're going to come and kill her family and kill her. And then something in the com comics is done in quite an interesting way for Dim Bear to be made. But in this, it just feels really gimmicky when, when Demon Bear is actually in the film. It doesn't really work. It feels very rushed. And with Fox already messing up the Dark, the Dark Phoenix saga, like the Dark Phoenix saga is such a good story. And with the movie, they really, really didn't know how to do it and just got it completely wrong. And with this, Demon Bear is done completely wrong. Now, do I have some pluses to the film? I, I don't think I do completely. Like, it looks nice at points. I think some of the horror is a little bit effective, but when the horror does start, it then just goes away from it. Um, the character development feels very underdeveloped because... The backstories of the characters, we don't really get to know them properly. We don't get to know why they're in this hospital. It's more of them, some people trying to figure out their powers, some people showing their powers, and then when they show the powers, oh boy, are the special effects bad. So the special effects <laughs> look horrible in this film. It's been three years, like I said, and I thought at that point maybe they would have fixed the special effects quite a bit, um, but they haven't. When one of the characters... Is on fire. It it just looks like 2005's um, Fantastic Four with the Human Torch. You know, it looks like that, and it it doesn't look good. So that was one thing that took me out of the film. It feels like they spent most of their time on Demon Bear. Like the special effects of Demon Bear look good, but for the other characters when they're showing off their superpowers, it doesn't really work. It looks like a film that, like I've said, should have come out in 2007. I was sat in this cinema and there was only two other people in the cinema and it does feel weird that this has been released during a pandemic because they did keep delaying it. It was meant to come out in April this year finally and then we all had a laugh about it when they're like, <laughs> it's been delayed again, been delayed again. So it's finally got released on um, August 28th, which well, we got previews for Bank Holiday Weekend in the UK and then we get actually probably 4th September in the UK, but it just 
feels weird to come out at this point because when I first booked my ticket, I booked it a day before and there was no one else in the cinema when I booked. And then when I went last night, two other people in the cinema. So I don't think this film's going to do very well because I think everyone's just seen it get delayed so much that they don't really have much care for it anymore. I feel like that's going to be with quite a few horror films. Like A Quiet Place was meant to come out this month and that's been delayed until next year. So I feel like these things getting delayed, sometimes people start to lose interest. And when you look at this film, all of the actresses and actors have gone on to do bigger things, like Maisie Williams being in Game of Thrones. Um, I must get one of the actors' name, but the guy that's in Stranger Things. You look at them in this, and they have grown up a lot more. Like Anya Taylor Joy, she has been in, in much more now. Like she is a bigger star now than when, when this film was made. Um, so it's just quite weird to look at it and see how young these people actually do look in this film. It doesn't really look that great. I understand people age, but when it's been delayed this much, it looks quite odd. I feel like I'm just saying too much bad about the new mutants. It kept my interest. That's what I will say. I was sat there the whole time sort of because I knew Demon Bear was going to be in there and because Demon Bear is such a big thing in the comics appearing in so many different stories throughout the new mutants and then coming out into into other stories as well. So I was excited for that, but that feels so underdeveloped as well. It almost feels like it's a mashup of wanting to be Dream Warriors, wanting to almost be the Nightmare on Elm Street remake, and wanting to be every single horror that we have seen in an asylum. Here's the thing, this isn't the worst X-Men movie. It's still Wolverine, Wolverine Origins, X-Men Origins Wolverine. It's still that. And Dark Phoenix. Those are still worse than that. Because I remember watching Dark Phoenix and being like, I am so drained watching this film right now. But with the New Mutants, I wasn't drained by it. I was just sort of in the cinema being like, still watching it. It still kept my interest. I'm still sort of intrigued of how far this story will go. But I'm not excited by it. I'm not finding much enjoyment for it. And there was part of me being like, I'm glad this is the final X-Men story from Fox. Because this could have been great. This could have been an over-the-top horror. But it just feels, like I've said, so tame with what it does. It 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 doesn't really work, in my opinion. It, it wasn't worth the wait. It makes you wonder why there was such a delay and what they were really doing in that time. Because special effects three years and they still look like that and um, the script is, is sort of all over the place um and it wants to do this little for some reason in the hospital they have only buffy on dvd and they keep watching that i don't know if that was meant to be like something to add to the story but it just didn't work i wanted to enjoy the new mutants i'd waited for so long i enjoy the comics of the new mutants i think the new mutant story in the comics is brilliant the demon bear is brilliant in the comics, <laughs> but Demon Bear isn't brilliant in this film. Demon Bear is so underdeveloped, I think most of the characters are very underdeveloped, and there's so many horror sort of tropes in this that almost feel quite gimmicky when it gets to it. So, The New Mutants does get a 2 out of 5 from me, not a 1 out of 5, because I still thought there was something in here. I didn't think find myself that bored i didn't get blown away by it by it but i still think eh, there's a story it works at points there's some very unnecessary moments but it's a film and it passes time <laughs> but i could i could have been watching something much better though so that's my review of the new mutants if you've seen the new mutants did you enjoy it did you hate it do you wish they had done things better? Have you read the comics? Um, do you enjoy the comics? Do you think they got so much wrong? Because I think they got a lot wrong from the comics here and didn't bring enough to the screen from the comics. But that's all for me today. Thank you very much. I'll see you all again very, very soon. Goodbye.